Hi, this is John Hawkins Jr. with Gateway Counseling Center. Welcome to our Tuesday night Facebook Live. We do this every week at Tuesday 8.15 where I answer any questions that come in throughout the week um, that you have around mental health, relationships, uh, performance coaching, spirituality, whatever is fair game. You can hit me up um, at John H at johnhagatgatewaycounseling.com um, and I'll respond to you. You don't have to wait till Tuesday night. I am a trauma and addiction specialist, a relationship expert, and also peak performance coach. We are Gateway Counseling Center here in Boynton Beach, Florida, here in South Florida. Um, we are still open seeing clients live face-to-face, -face, and we also do a lot of online sessions. So if you're out there and you're scared to come out, expose yourself, uh, doing your social distance, distancing, which is good and all that, but you're getting isolated, we are still here. We're taking protective measures. Um, have my <laughs> wipes there. So we're trying to stay sanitary, um, but you can come out and still see us face to face. If not, like I said, we do all platforms, Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, whatever, anything that you prefer, we'll uh, do that and, and do some online sessions with you as well um, for convenience or if you just don't want to get out and expose yourself to more people. So we, like I said, are a mental health counseling center here in South Florida where we do couples therapy, all mental health, emotional issues, uh, spiritual issues. Uh, I also do, like I mentioned, peak performance coaching. So we do this. We have a mission um, to reach as many people as we can using every way we can, um, whether that's social media, live counseling, online counseling, uh, workshops, lectures, whatever it is, you know, we want to make as big as impact as we can. So part of the way you can help us is if you find any of this information useful, forward it on to anyone who could benefit from it, anything you'd like to see addressed or talked about, um, email me again, like I said, during the week at johnhagatgatewaycounseling.com and I'll address those questions for you. So tonight um, I wanted to talk about um, starting to get to understand and explore parts of yourself um, really a big part of what happens to all of us we have our you know kind of core personality of how we experience ourselves, but we also have different parts uh, to our personality so it doesn't mean you have multiple personalities but it kind of does mean we all have a little bit of multiple sides to our personalities what they call multiplicity so I'll give you some examples of how these get triggered. So there's parts of us that, you know, get wounded or hurt or different things along the way growing up or different life experiences that have to disassociate and kind of get stuck or frozen there in time. And then other parts of us develop um, as kind of managers or protectors to keep those parts outside of our consciousness or to deal with them if they do pop up. Um, so part of therapy is it's starting to explore and work with all parts of ourself, heal certain parts, um, let other parts kind of take a step back and go more into a supporting role. That for each of us inside of us, there is what we define as a core self or a higher self that is capable of managing life much more effectively, that's always been there, that can also help us heal from within um, once we learn how to access it and tap into it. So that's a big part of my work is being supportive of other people, but also helping them tap into that core self that then they can start to integrate and manage their parts better. So um, a good example is I was working with someone this week where they're trying to uh, launch you know, a business, a product they have, and they've been trying to do that for over a year and they keep getting stuck in perfectionism and overanalyzing everything. And as we were working with that part today, um, they, you know, they got really connected to it physically is where that is. And so you start to, you know, track the physical reaction you get. So I asked this person, okay, focus on when you think about doing this or you go to do it, what happens in your body right now. They had some sensation here. As we explored that, we just kept staying with it. It's a process of kind of letting your conscious mind go and just tracking your internal world or your how your body's reacting and eventually this memory came up um, where they tried to be they were around 10 tried to be helpful to their dad and their dad got angry at them and shamed them and i'm sure that was not a one-off event but they that's what came up today and it was this you know part other part of them developed then to like always make sure you really analyze everything trying to figure everything out get every piece of information you have so dad will never be upset with me again won't shame me any of that kind of stuff and so 
that same process has happened for them now as they go to release this new you know business they're facing possibly people they know and care about being critical or you know potentially shaming them in some ways and so they protect themselves from that by trying to be perfect trying to make sure they got every single base covered and it's the perfect way to present it and it's not going to upset anyone and which then just keeps them frozen and immobilized from really launching this product. So what we had to do is go back and get in touch with the hurt, the shame, some of the feelings that that younger part of them felt that they could now get support from me and from the client's own internal self to release that pain, which then would cause this other protective part not have to keep trying to be perfect and you know make sure everybody's happy and okay before they take a chance to stick their their neck out there and so you know people initially come in and feel like okay all right i mean uh, nothing really traumatic happened to me because they didn't have these you know big t traumas like molestation or some big you know physical injury or car wreck and they'll think they've never been through anything but yet here i show up and i get frozen and i've been trying for a year to launch my business and i get stuck there and i can't do it and this is why this is the process that happens to all of us internally is we get stuck in these places where one part of us holds that pain and other parts trying to protect us from that pain, but it's also impeding us from getting where we want to go. So if you got questions about that, ask me, email me at uh, John H at gatewaycounseling.com. Um, I know getting into some of the parts of work, it's probably some of the deepest work in therapy, some of the most impactful, but it can be unusual to people at first. They have a lot of questions about it. Other people kind of naturally do it. They're in touch with their parts. Um, but you can ask me any questions about that. A great resource is a book called Self Therapy by Jay Healy. It'll walk you through a lot of this process where you can do a lot of this on your own because ultimately it's your own core self within that's really going to help you heal. Um, and you can, you know, his that book is a great, like I said, resource to walk you through that journey. Um, and then hit me up for any questions. So we'll see you guys next Tuesday at eight fifteen. Um, again, send me John H at counseling.com Any comments or questions? You can follow us here on Facebook. Uh, Gateway Counseling Center on YouTube, Gateway Center on Instagram, and we have the Mind Zone, Mind Zone group on Facebook. So have a great week. Stay safe. Um, hopefully we'll be out of this, you know, social distancing at some point, and everybody makes it through safe, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday at 8.15.